Hey there, if you've got an Echo Dot, you might have noticed that little action button on top. It might seem like a small, simple thing, but trust me, it's got a lot more power than you might think. Whether you're new to the Echo world or a seasoned user, I'm here to show you how to use this button in some clever ways to make your smart device even smarter. Stick around, and I'll walk you through all the cool things you can do with the action button to make your Echo Dot experience even better. Let's dive right in. The action button is one of the key features on all Echo Dot models. It lets you do many things like waking up your device, setting it up, muting alarms, and handling calls without even saying a word. This button is designed to make your Echo Dot more user-friendly and accessible. Echo Dot speakers, Amazon's compact smart devices, have a minimalist design with easy-to-reach buttons on top. The number and layout of these buttons vary by generation, but once you know where the action button is, it opens up a world of possibilities. For the first Echo Dot, you'll see two buttons on top. Next to the mute button, marked with a microphone icon with a slash through it, is the action button. It's easy to spot thanks to the white dot in the center. The second generation Echo Dot introduces a couple of new buttons, like volume controls, but the action button remains in the same spot. It's still at the three o'clock position with that familiar white circle, making it easy to spot. The third generation Echo Dot keeps the same layout, so if you're upgrading from an earlier model, you won't have any trouble locating it. Easy peasy. The latest Echo Dot models have introduced a sleek, touch-sensitive interface, and the action button has moved to the top center of the device. It's now marked with a subtle gray dot, making it even easier to find. This update shows Amazon's commitment to making their devices more intuitive and user-friendly. Now, let's dive into the cool things you can do with the action button. First up, tapping the action button lets you wake up your Echo Dot without having to say the wake word. This is super handy when you're in a noisy environment or just want to keep things a little quieter. Just a simple tap and your Echo Dot is ready to listen and respond. If you're setting up a new Echo Dot or switching to a different Wi-Fi network, simply hold the action button for a few seconds to enter setup mode. It's a quick and easy way to get started. Want to reset your Echo Dot without affecting your smart home setup? For second through fifth generation Echo Dots, hold the action button for 20 to 25 seconds until the LED turns off and then flashes orange. For the fourth generation, you can reset without losing your smart home settings by holding both the mic off and volume down buttons for 20 seconds. Another great use for the action button is controlling alarms and timers. If you need to silence an alarm or timer, just press the action button. It's perfect for when you want some peace and quiet right away. On the third, fourth, and fifth generation Echo Dots, you can also tap the top of the speaker to snooze alarms for nine minutes. The action button also lets you manage calls. If you have an Echo Dot with calling functionality, you can use the button to answer or end calls easily. On the fifth generation Echo Dot, a tap gesture also lets you hang up calls, so you don't always have to press the action button. Now, what if the action button stops responding? Don't worry, I've got you covered with some troubleshooting tips. First, check if the microphone is enabled. Look for the LED indicator on your Echo Dot. If you see a solid red light, that means the microphone is off. Press the mute button to turn it back on. If the microphone is fine, try performing a quick power reset. Unplug your Echo Dot, wait about 10 seconds and plug it back in. This can often resolve minor issues. If that doesn't work, leave it unplugged for a minute before trying again. Outdated software can sometimes cause the action button to be unresponsive. Check for updates in the Alexa app to ensure your Echo Dot is running the latest version of its firmware. Keeping your device updated ensures everything runs smoothly. If the action button is still unresponsive, try removing your Echo Dot from the Alexa app and then re-adding it. This can help reset the connection between your device and Amazon services. As a last resort, you can perform a factory reset. For Echo Dots other than the first generation, press and hold the mic off and volume down buttons for 20 to 25 seconds. For the first generation Echo Dot, use a paperclip to press the reset button at the bottom for eight seconds. Keep in mind that a factory reset will erase your settings, so use this only if necessary. And that's a wrap. With these tips, you're all set to make the most out of the action button on your Echo Dot. Whether you're setting up your device, silencing alarms, or managing calls, this little button will make everything smoother and more convenient. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Got any questions or extra tips? Drop them in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.